Hello, my lovely Torians, and a very warm welcome to your November 2023 forecast. So Torians, this is your half point in the year. It's approximately six months since you had a birthday, and it's going to be another six months till your next birthday. This is always a pivotal point of balance. It's also when we get a full moon in the opposite sign of yours. So this draws your attention this month, particularly, to looking at what is not in balance in my life. Where do I need to create more balance? Where do I need to put more attention, more time, more energy? Maybe it's into your work. Maybe it's in a relationship. Maybe your home, maybe your health. Think about this because this is a real opportunity here to bring things into harmonious balance. And Venus is your ruler, so you certainly look for peace and harmony overall. And on the ninth of the month, Venus, your ruler will go into the sixth house. This is a good time for doing anything connected with helping others, kindnesses to others. It's the house of service. And when Venus is there, this is the enjoyment of being of service to someone. And this may just be a smile, a kind word, a nice email, a nice message. Don't make too big a thing of it, but just put your focus there and you will see that all your relationships will become more harmonious, easier to deal with, even difficult people, prickly people. Suddenly, relax more in your presence. It's a time to watch out a little. You might have found your sweet tooth may be activated. Venus in the sixth often and you want to eat sweet and luxury and nice things. So you may want to remember to do that in moderation. There could also be some good news about a work situation. On the 11th of the month, we've got Mercury coming into this eighth house. There's going to be a, a lot of activity in the eighth house. But initially, for the first part of this month, we've got a lot happening in the first and seventh houses. So this would be um, an important time to put some energy into balancing self-development, self-growth, learning about yourself, and also putting energy into various relationships. Maybe there's a relationship that needs more energy and focus from you, or maybe less energy and focus from you. So these are the questions you might want to internally ask yourself so that you can create more smoothness between your needs and the needs of others around you. So Mercury into this eighth house, you might find yourself doing some deep thinking, some deep thinking about finances, your financial future, what you want to create for yourself and finances. You are the financial sign. So this is an opportunity, maybe some for some reevaluation in that area. Now, on the 13th of the month, we've got a new moon here happening in this opposite sign. So this is activating new beginnings in relationships new ways for you to see your relationships. Maybe there's been a difficult relationship and you get an opportunity now to see it in a new light. And suddenly the difficulties just drop away. So it's an opportunity for a lot of maybe a new relationship coming into your life, if that's what you're looking for, or the renewal of an existing one. On the 23rd of the month, the sun will come into this uh, eighth house and on the 25th Mars and on the 27th a full moon in the second. So we're going from this first and seventh houses to the second and the eighth houses as we move through the month. So the second and eighth houses have to do with your finances and your gifts and your talents. This full moon is encouraging you to cultivate more of your gifts, your talents, lovely Torians. You're very talented but sometimes a little lazy or procrastinating a little, sometimes. And this full moon encourages you to cultivate your inner qualities, your inner gifts, the things that you love, 
but you don't give yourself permission and time to put some focus upon them. This eighth house focus has you going deeply into the energy of transformation, of rebirth. You may have been going through some difficulties. You get an opportunity to build strength through difficulties and challenges. Yes, it's only if something gets a little difficult that you need to lose, use a little more muscle or a little more mind power. And if you do that, you get stronger. So there's the opportunity to build strength through overcoming the challenges and obstacles that you might be facing. So see it once again from a positive light because the energies are moving towards Sagittarius this month and Sagittarius activates our optimism, our positivity, our joy, our wisdom. Now, let's take a look at your Pleiadian Oracle deck card for this month. Let's choose a card. I love doing this. All right, the Taurus card. Ooh. So yours is to explore imaginary worlds. Use the power of visualization. Use the power of seeing something in your mind first before it's physical. You're an earth sign. So sometimes there's a tendency to see things in a limited view. This Sagittarian energy is encouraging you to explore your imagination and to allow it to take you to new places. And you won't be bored anymore. You'll feel excited. You'll be full of passion. You'll be ready to go on to something new. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing and subbing. Bye for now.